Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help. Today we're going to be taking a look at Dakota Alert um, Infrared Night Vision um, Video System. This is the DVR-01. So I'm going to jump right into the unboxing here and let you guys see what's included inside here. Very nice packaging, very well put together and everything. Um, actually a pretty good uh, instruction manual here with um, uh, how to set up the unit. It's very simple, very easy to use, almost a one-click system. Um, before anything, I know people are going to have a uh, question. It does show you how to update the um, tech, uh, the time format in here for the timestamp. Now, the one issue that I had, and let me get up close here real quick. We'll go over this first off here. Um, it says to create a file called time CFG. .txt and all capital letters. Now when I created this file with the .txt extension it would not update the time. I had to remove the .txt so just um, for me I just created a file, uh, chose a new text document according to the instructions and called it time cfg and then save the file. Okay so that's just one tip in advance on how to set the date and time. Otherwise the instructions are really good but if it doesn't work remove the .txt off the end. So very simplified there. Okay in the box here we have the actual unit packaged up there. And I wasn't really sure by the description how big this item was. About the size of one of the old pagers. Pretty nice. Now, um, what makes this one special is it has what's called a PIR, okay, and uh, it's a certain type of, uh, it's called passive infrared, and what this is basically it has, uh, normally they have two sensors on the inside, one will measure the temperature on the wall, let's say you've got it faced in a room, whatever, and you, you want to set it up to record. Um, one sensor uh, records the ambient ten uh, temperature in the room. Um, it monitors that. The second sensor, um, which I think is called like a black body sensor, um, it detects body heat, okay? And so it compares those two. So when the sensor is reading the room and it's not showing any temperature variations, this mode will be in standby, or this unit will be in standby mode. And then when someone walks past it or, you know, it senses a heat source, then it's going to activate the recording function for that. So let's go ahead and take everything out of the box. We have a nice little stand for the unit there. We have a USB wall adapter that plugs into the USB cable. And then we have the actual USB cable itself, which I've already pulled out of the box I have right here. So, And this actually, the way the cable plugs in is pretty nice. It has a little L bracket, so it's not kind of sticking out too chunky looking or anything like that. So going over the basic function of the camera, this is a very simple unit, okay? On the side we have a power switch and then you have a little uh, button activator right there. On the left side you have the USB and on the back you have a standard tripod camera mount. So you can mount this on a tripod and kind of flip it sideways or maybe a gorilla pod or you know whatever. So, And then on the back we if you release this we have a battery cover. And if you let the battery fall off to the side here just a little bit and look back up in there, if I can get that close enough, there's a micro SD card and it does come with a four gigabyte card. Now, video recording for this unit, it records in 30 second increments and you're supposed to get 100 video clips per gigabyte. So being that there's a 4 gigabyte card in here, you should get about 430 second video clips, okay? And it does stop after 30 seconds and recycles and waits for, for the next trigger to activate. Um, I wish there was a way to set this to actually make it do a continuous recording, you know? Um, that's kind of a downfall, although I do like the 30 second time because it makes watching the clips in the end a little bit easier. When the memory card is full, it's going to automatically go to the beginning and start recording again. Okay, so when the card gets full, it'll just write over itself, which is nice. And if you 4 gigabyte card in here, 400 clips, chances are you're going to probably 
uh, wipe the memory out, save off your videos or whatever before it ever gets full. So, but that is a nice function if you decide to let it run, you know, on a continuous basis. But in standby mode, if it's do doing quick 30 second clips, you'll get seven to 10 days of standby time with this unit. So, um, very simple to use. Flip the switch on the side, turn it on. You'll see the red LED light up. Now for the first clip, it's automatically gonna start recording for 30 seconds. When it's done recording this first initial 30 second video, it's going to go back into standby, in which case the red light will flash once and then turn off. The downfall is that when you're recording, yes, this light will be blinking. But the upside of this, you can take a small piece of electrical tape, put it right over there, and you're never gonna see it. Okay, so what makes this nice as far as covering this up is that when you go power off, it's turned off. When you go power on, it's automatically in record mode. So there's no buttons to push. All you have to do is turn the power on and it's good to go and you can walk away. So that's the really nice part about this. You don't have to sit there and wait for the light to blink and then hit a button and all this other stuff, okay? So if you wanna cover that up like that, you just drop a little piece of tape on the top of it and it's probably never going to be seen so okay now to use this unit with your computer you first want to plug the cable in to your USB and I'm gonna go ahead and do that here real quick okay now if you plug this unit in by itself it's going to start charging the unit now what I thought was really odd is that there's no charging indicator here as far as you know charging the unit so I'm not sure how you're supposed to know when it's charged maybe it'll start blinking or something the manual didn't say anything and I haven't fully tested it as far as the charge cycles go when you want to hook this up to your computer to retrieve the data that's on the inside of it um, simply press the button in on the side and you're gonna hold this button in while you turn the power switch on okay you're gonna keep holding it keep holding it okay when that light turns green you can let go and it's now connected to the computer okay so very simple there and then when you're done uh, doing the files or transferring files or watching the video or whatever just simply unplug this unit the light will flink red it'll turn off once it turns off there you can turn the power switch off and you're back into uh, your storage mode or whatever so, first video clip will be ambient room light no lights on um, you'll see it here in a second. The second clip is going to be in complete darkness and then the third clip is where I stuck the camera outside my window and uh, shot some video footage to let you see what full bright daylight does to this unit. It really kind of washes everything out. So uh, let's jump into the videos here real quick. Okay guys, so I just walked into the room here and the uh, infrared did activate the camera. And uh, as you can see, this is standard daylight. Actually, no lights are on, the curtains closed. I uh, got a door open, that's the only source of light in the room, so I just wanted to give you a daylight sample of what the video quality looks like. Okay, so I uh, actually managed to activate the unit from about 10 feet or so away. It's supposed to have a 20 foot range. Um, first thing you'll notice is that when I get close up to the video, my face is real washed out. And the second thing you'll notice if you're actually in front of this unit is that all of the LEDs, the eight LEDs on the front, are lit up in red, and I'll show that to you in just a moment. So just give you an idea of what kind of distance you're looking to work with there. Now you can see it's automatic. When there's not enough light, it kicks on. When there's enough light, it doesn't kick on. So, um, and in the video it looks white, but at in actuality when you're looking at this item it's going to be red okay all these are going to light up kind of red there so right, so i don't really know uh anything else that uh, needs to be covered for this it's a very simple unit um, once you're done you simply plug it into your computer like i said use the usb push the button in on the side turn the power on wait for it and you can watch the videos directly from the folder on your desktop computer so all right, hope this review uh, helped you guys out. If it did, please post a comment. If not, Pogue Mahone, and as usual, thanks for watching Frank's Tech Help.